the fifth Nobel laureate in the history of chemistry, was an extraordinary German scientist, Adolf von Bayer. From childhood his world was filled with colors. But unlike ordinary children who simply played with colors, he carried a question deep in his mind. Where do these colors come from? What is the source of nature's boundless diversity? This very curiosity eventually pulled him toward the path of science. After entering university, he discovered his true home, the laboratory. That room, filled with rows of test tubes, beakers, and bottles of chemicals, became his temple of devotion. He spent countless hours there experimenting with different compounds. Early in his career, he discovered barbituric acid, which opened a new chapter in medical science. Yet among all these achievements, one color fascinated him the most. Indigo, the deep blue dye. For centuries, this dye had been produced from indigo plants in India and Egypt. It was expensive, a symbol of royal clothing. But its chemical structure remained a mystery. Von Bayer decided that he would be the one to solve it. The journey was not easy. For nearly 20 years he worked on this single problem. He failed countless times. Many of his colleagues gave up, but von Bayer's eyes held unwavering determination. Finally, in 1880, he succeeded. From a compound called isotin, he discovered an effective method of producing indigo. The tiny blue crystals at the bottom of his test tube were the result of two decades of relentless effort. But he didn't stop there. He wanted to fully understand the molecular structure of indigo, how carbon, hydrogen, nitrogen, and oxygen bind together to create this remarkable color. In 1883, he published that structure. Based on his findings, other scientists later developed cheaper methods of producing synthetic indigo. The era of natural indigo ended, giving rise to the dominance of industrial blue. Indigo was not his only accomplishment. He created a new class of dyes known as xanthine dyes, among which fluorescin is still used today in biology and forensic science for its brilliant green fluorescence. In 1905, Adolf von Bayer was awarded the Nobel Prize in Chemistry in recognition of his groundbreaking work on organic dyes and hydroaromatic compounds. It was the ultimate reward for a lifetime of dedication. Today, we hardly realize how his discoveries touch our daily lives. Just look at the blue color of your favorite pair of jeans. That color is a direct result of von Bayer's research. What was once a luxury reserved for kings has now become the everyday color of ordinary people's denim. Because Adolf von Bayer uncovered the mystery of indigo, factories can now produce it vast quantities, easily and cheaply.